Hey guys, I'm bringing you another Creative Haven book today. This one is The Wizard of Oz. Um, I love The Wizard of Oz. It's right up there with um, Alice in Wonderland for me. Uh, this one's by Marty Noble. This is what the back looks like. This fine. Um, let me see. I forgot how many pages it says. It's usually about 30, 31 pages in the Creative Haven books, but it doesn't say. But um, I really like how they got Dorothy. She looks like a like a 50s style girl. And all the Creative Haven books are colored in the front and the back. Look how beautiful it is. <clears throat> and they are single-sided. They are perforated. The paper is thicker than um, like copy paper. Really nice. You can take it out. You can paint in here, markers. You could do anything in here as long as you protect your work or pull it out the book. So I am just going to flip. I like how they're all squared off. Oh, there's Auntie. And that tornado. Toto! Oh, that's a cute one. I started one page in here. Oh, some of them are landscape. Oh, I love the, the crowns like that. That's really pretty. I like how they do their brick road. The little fairies. All the poppies. Those monkeys when I was a kid in that movie freaked me out. My God. Oh my God, he's got glasses on. And there are her ruby slippers. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a good one. This one, this one, I almost started this one just because, it, I don't know, it's just really beautiful. It's got all the characters on it. I want the, it would be in really pretty uh, yellow background. But then I saw another picture with her shoes, and I'm like, oh, I have to stick all these shoes. So that's what I did. This poor lion. He just looks so sad. Oh, that witch. I'm glad they dropped the house on her. I can hear the music, that music when she's riding. Every year, it came on once a year when I was a kid, and it was like a big thing. You know, the Wizard of Oz is coming on. We gotta go get our snacks and watch TV. This is going to be so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to color that one. You color that and stickle that with all the glitter or glitter pens. You could frame that, put that in a kid's room. This is the one I started. I got, I don't know if you can see the glitter. Yep, a little bit on her shoes and on her wand. And um, haven't, oh, I did this in glitter pen too. I haven't decided how to color the border yet and how to color her properly. Um, so I want to go and finish this one today. If you check out my Instagram, or I Instagram 93 on Instagram, it's, it's linked into the box. You'll see my progress and finished pictures that I do. And then here's the back. I like how it gives you ideas of how to color them and things and that's it guys really really nice book uh, I hope you guys check it out thanks for watching bye bye